why it's Jason and my man Jacob who helps me and Tori who supervises. Following through on my commitment to step through the year on a pretty regular weekly basis. Um, we're at day one for most of the beginner folks. I'm trying to pretend like I'm a beginner and we'll walk through that. So we've got packages to install today. We're going to do three different scenarios. The first scenario is the first one is all foundation, which a brand new person would be faced with as an all foundation install in this cold weather. Uh, this one is going to be drawn comb install, and this one is going to be drawn comb with a couple frames of brood, and then we'll follow that through the next two or three weeks and see the differences in strength and speed and build up with all three of these. Um, I got a couple pieces of paper in my hand, a very non-technical solution, but what we're getting into right now, this is the hourly forecast for tonight, and I'm choosing to go ahead and do this. Um, looks like it's going to stay by about 52 by the end of the night. Um, so that's step one, that's the weather we're doing it in. And another consideration coming up is the weather forecast for the next few days. By my left thumb on the 27th, we're looking at 20 degrees, 21 degrees at night. So we have to be mindful of that while we're going through this. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing is they need feet. And a lot of people get wrapped around the ankles at mixing feet. So probably can't see this, but I'll do it. We got two buckets. One about half full of feed and one about half full of warm water. Very simple. So Jacob, dump the water in or the sugar into the water. I don't care. All right, now dump the water into the sugar. Old bag of sugar from last winter, so we'll put one. So we're gonna stir it a little bit and let it sit for a little bit, and it'll continue to mix. So we'll come back to that, but that's pretty much all that I do with mixing sugar water when I mix sugar water. Um, that'll go into. I have frame feeders. You can put them in the mason jars on top. Don't love entrance feeders, but if that's what you got, use it. Some people use baggy feeders. There's a thousand ways to feed. The important part for especially for today and the next few days with the weather is the bees need to be able to get to the feed and to the queen which I'll show you that when we get into the install so I believe it's time to install bees we'll wait on our sugar water so Jay make sure that that is showing us so this is a standard wooden wooden box um, I also have the plastic ones uh, to get the top off just pry this thing off. Hmm. Already forgot a step. What happens when you're on camera? Uh, we're going to feed these girls a little bit. And it's going to be very fancy. We're going to feed all three packages at the same time. We want to fill their stomachs up before we install them, uh, especially because of how cold it's going to be. And one other note that I'll tell you is I did bring these inside for about 15 minutes so they would warm up a little bit since it's 51 degrees out here. Very high-tech feeding device, plastic cup. You got it down on here, Jay? Yep. So, just gonna take some, and run it right on the screen, and let them clean it off. Those are down on the bottom because they got knocked down. I'm gonna go ahead and knock these down a little bit too so they get a little bit more of it. And this will also keep them from hitting the air too much. It's chilly. So you don't want to get carried away with this and get them too wet, but I'd also want them to have something in their stomach, so it's a balance. Would it be a terrible idea to take them back inside and let them clean themselves off for five or ten minutes? Probably not. It would be okay to do. I'm not going. Alright, so back to the install. This first one's pretty basic, um, and what a lot of new folks get. and. Being proactive, one of the things that I hear from folks is how do you get the queen cage to get mashed in between two frames when you don't have any brood or on any comb? Rubber band, very high tech solution, so we'll get to that. Your bees are here, I'm gonna knock them down. See the queen cage hanging there and the feed can there. Take the feed can out. 
Ooh, they're gonna make me put on my veil. Not nice. Take the feed can out, cover that back up so you can work with your queen. Um, I am gonna put on my veil because getting stung in the face is not fun and definitely not fun on camera. This is pretty crummy weather. So our checking our queen. She's got it. She is a marked queen. Dot is right there. She's alive. So do, do make sure your queen is alive before you install. Cork needs to come out of the candy end. There is a cork at both ends. Do the candy end, not the other end, because then she's just out. So that's out. A lot of folks will put a nail hole in there. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I want a slow release with them. A nail hole through the candy just to give them a start. I'm not going to do that today. We're not in a hurry. So at this point, I got a couple frames out. Saw that hole, I assume. And I need to put our queen in. So this is very complicated. Turn this off. The queen is installed. Now you don't want to shock put it in and slam it so that it falls down, but it's got a pretty good grip. So I'm gonna put it just a little bit down because you want the cluster of bees to be around it. If you're feeding from the top, one note is you don't want the queen to be directly underneath of the feed can, but you do want her close to the feed can so that, again, they can be with the queen and the feed, but you don't want her to accidentally, you know, if your feed can leaks or something, you don't want her to get too wet and get drowned out. So, on that same note, I'm actually gonna switch this. Our feeder is here. I'm just using a frame feeder. And I want her to be pretty close to the feed. The bees and the queen and everybody together. So I would label this a cold weather install. I'm okay with just jump, dumping them in at this point. Um, I'll show you a slow, how we would set up for a slow release if it was a warm day. Once you get to this part, you just want to kind of move on. Don't take all day. Don't try to get every single last bee. And there's a handful in there. I'll put that in front of the hive and they can go back up. The bees are in. They are down there. At this point, you want to go ahead and put this on. And you don't want to push it down, just kind of let it float down. With all foundation, there's plenty of room for them to, to do their thing. Uh, I am seeing that the bees are coming up around the queen. We do want to make sure that she stays warm. And for the install, that's it. Jacob's got the sugar. He's going to fill up the feeder. I use a pump with a gasoline nozzle on it when we're feeding for real, but I'm trying to pretend like I don't have all that fun stuff. Our feeder is full, that's good. Yep. <clears throat> and that one is about done. So we're gonna put this on. I have a different inner cover. We won't, I'm not gonna go into that today, but put your inner cover and your outer cover on. This is more migratory stuff. I don't have a whole lot of the standard telescopic stuff anymore. The only thing we'll come back to do before we leave here today is make sure that the bees really are around that queen. They should be, but just wanna double check. So that one is done. We're gonna do this one twice. I'm gonna kind of move a little bit faster on this one. I'm gonna show you how if it was warm on like a nice 60, 70 degree day in sunshine, you know, it's good fun weather for us to be out in. It's not the best package install weather because if it's nice, they'll immediately hit the air and start flying. And if you've got two or three hives like this, if you've got one queen that smells really good and they hit the air, you'll have a queen and a fistful of bees in this one and a queen and two packages over here or something to that effect. So that's when you would use a more of a slower release rather than just dumping them. So the way to do that is take out a few extra frames and you'll do the same thing we did there or similar. Go ahead and get the queen out, set her between a couple frames and I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the slow release versus the fast release part of this. 
same thing. That out. Clean. These were less unhappy. Our queen is alive, interestingly enough, not marked, even though that was marked that she was. So I have to remember that on this hive that she's not marked, so we don't freak out when we say, oh, the queen's not marked. That's the same one. Cork is out. I'm going to tear this off. We don't need the rubber band trick on this one because we've got comb to use. So I'm going to put her over here next to the feeder, and there's a little bit of honey. So this one will really be happy. Um, you want to do, I'm going to pull that back out. I don't know if I said it there, but you want the candy, I'm going to exaggerate, tilted away. In case that candy gets warm, you don't want it to run back over top of your queen. So a little bit that way. It doesn't have to be a lot. It's exaggerated. But. So there's that. Some people put them with the screen facing. There are slots on the side. A lot of ways to get the same thing done. So if I was doing a slow release... What I would do is take a few bees and pour right over top of the queen just to make sure she's covered. Set this down in this hole, close it up. Let the bees slowly come out and they'll come out of the package and go over to the frames on the room. If you didn't want a bunch of bees in the air and it was nice, that's, I, I do that, or I used to do that a lot. I haven't installed packages for myself in years. So we're not doing that. Now we're back to just a, a hole in there to pour the bees in, and that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Push this one over a little bit, and with the comb, there's not as much room in here, so Jay, come back over here. That whole float down thing, you'll see the frame hits the bottom, of, hits the bees there. So, you know, it's it's not down right now. It's still sticking up a little bit. So you don't want to force that. Just kind of let let gravity take it down slowly for a minute, and they'll work their way up. So, Jay, you want to go ahead and feed that out, and we'll do the next one. Yep. <clears throat> nervousness of the camera. We forgot a step. We have pollen patties. This is just a package. There is, I'm going to go ahead and push these down now because they've come up. Just a package. We're going to give them a half of a pollen patty. You saw the weather forecast. Yeah, there's pollen out there. They're not going to be able to fly and get it. So we don't want them to have a need for anything because right now if they start trying to rear brood in a couple days once that queen's out, the only place they'll be able to mine the nutrients for the babies is from their own body, which is just going to shorten their lifespan. And that's not what we want. So they get their pollen sub. When we check on that queen at that first one, we'll put the pollen sub on them. All right, so we're on to the last one. Um, we're going to hit pause. And we're going to run up to one of my other hives and grab two frames of brood. And we'll take the camera and show that. And the install is going to be very similar, except we're going to have a couple frames of brood to pour the bees on. We'll put the queen between two frames of brood. So go ahead and hit pause on there, Jay. Okay, we're at a hive that we checked and know that there's a little bit of brood in here. Don't know how good it is, but just look from the top. So it's chilly, so we can't be here long. And we did not bring frames to backfill this with. We'll have to come back and do that. Yeah, I'll get some. Now we'll come back and do it. Okay. So there's some brood. And can you can you see this in the camera? Yes. So don't know where our queen is. Not gonna take the time to find her for sure. It's cold. So just shaking bees off. Give them a jump start for sure. Those have some cups, but there's no eggs, they're just cups. 
All right, so you can pause, Jay, and we're going to run back to the other house. Are we good? Okay. Yep. So, interesting. This was a good frame right here, and right here is hatching bees. So this will give them a, a very instant boost and um, also give the bees a reason to hang around and not drift. So, nothing fancy. And drop them in. And same thing, we want it to be closer to the it's got honey in it. So we're gonna put the queen right between those two frames of brood and shake the bees on to keep the brood warm. down, pop this off. Queen is good, she's got a green dot. This port's giving me a hard time. Yeah. What in the world is this thing? Is Jacob with a knot pointy knife? Hmm. Your father gave it to me, so. He you to hurt yourself. <laughs> Alright. We don't need to waste people's time with this. Hive staple, also, you know, just like a nail or anything else. There. Now our fork's out. Sorry, our cork is out. Let's see frame of brood, frame of brood. Queen, candy it pointing down just a little bit. I'm actually going to put her at the end because I don't want to cover up the brood right on the edge. Pour some right over the top of the queen and then right in between the two frames of brood. A little sketchy doing it when it's this cool, but the wind is not blowing at all and the temperature is actually supposed to hold stable for like four or five hours. So that should allow them to cover the brood and be okay. Hey, can you give me half of a pollen patty, please? Hope you can see already that they're sort of making a home of it. These are our two frames of brood. Queen is right down there. So I'm gonna give them this. Top, so it's not going to sit very flush, but we'll come back with the rim top at later. All right, so our last job for today is to go back up, make sure our queen is covered on this first one, and give them their sub. So she's over there. Queen bees are in there. So we'll take our time and show you. You can see that they're up and distributed. The queen is right. There's the rubber band. She's right here. You can see bees on her. And I'll give them the sub right there. And come check back on them. A lot of people like to get in fast. Combination of the fact that it's... Oh, thank you for feeding them out, Jeff. Um, a lot of folks like to get in really fast. Doing a demonstration one time. Um, I, I did a in front of people a package install. And then a few days later, I was doing a second package install and went back to the first one. It was, I don't know, three, four days. And um, when I went back to the first one, it was laying eggs. I was like, oh, cool, look, she's laying eggs. Let me show you the queen. We're showing them the queen. About the time I pointed at her, the bees balled her. 
and they didn't kill her because I was right there and I stopped it. But the fact that I was in there was stressing them and it caused them to go right after the queen. That was it like three days. So resist the temptation to dig in immediately. So um, that's it. We'll be back in about a week.